Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taddy and I'm an astrologer and I make videos on astrology, self-growth, self-care, and self-love. So if that interests you, please continue watching, please subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing what you can do to completely change your life this year. So I'm super excited about this. This is a bit different than my usual videos. There's some that are similar, but I really just wanted to share a video what that has really helped me in the last year to two years and I'm hoping this helps someone. So this will be a more casual sit down. So go grab some tea and coffee, come back, let's chat and uh, let's jump right into it. So my first tip, this is a really important one, is to take responsibility for your life. So this is something I learned during my Saturn return. If you don't know what your Saturn return is, that's completely okay. You can check back on other videos of mine and I kind of explain it. But essentially, I learned to really take control of what I can control during my Saturn return. And this is the part of us, like, this is the whole point of a Saturn return. But when you start to realize how much of your life were you kind of acting out of what was externally happening to you and you were only reacting and what you can internally do and be proactive in that's when the shift occurs that's when something amazing occurs because when you can understand what you can and can't control and then when you focus in on what you can control that's when magic happens that's when things start to get so much better you first have to release victim mentality for this and this is something that is that can be cultural this can be something that you're raised with and it's understanding like we all can be victims of certain circumstances but we can't stay in that mentality it's not helpful for us it's not healthy for us to stay in a victim mentality right and we can be victims of a lot of different things but i think it's understanding that you can't sit in that mentality you can't sit in that in that um fear of like no i just want to play the victim i just want to complain and for example one thing that you might hear from other people is like they might be complaining about a certain friend and this friend is super draining and annoying to them but they don't actually do anything about it they don't actually do anything so they just want to complain to you but they don't want to change the reality of things right and what they could be doing is that they could either talk to the friend about this or they could set boundaries with that friend so they don't see them that often or they could just not be friends with them if they're like really toxic and they could find a new a new friend but Sometimes people just want to complain and I think when it's okay to complain, I think that's normal to do, to release, to let go of, but if you are constantly complaining about the same thing, then it's knowing like what can you control? What are you able to do for yourself? What, what are you able to take control of and how can you narrow in on that focus so that you can improve your life, so that you can improve your mental health and and everything in in that way so once i learned this once i really understood like i have control over my life i have control over a lot of areas of my life like even if you're living with other people and you can't control what your roommate does you can control you know maybe your room your space maybe you can control what you do you can control what boundaries you put up you know, certain things like that, I think is so, so important to kind of go over and, and really understand for yourself. And yeah, I think this was, this is my first tip because I think it's really understanding you do have power in, in certain situations and you have more choices and options that you might not consider, that you might be afraid to consider. So really outlay the, these options, write them down, write, write these things down, right? out what are your options and choices with any difficult decision you're making and write a pro con list you know i'm i'm a libra rising with a virgo stellium and you know that's 
it's something I do. It's like write a pro con list. And if a problem keeps occurring, something has to change unless you're okay with that problem happening. You know, what has to change? So really, really understand this. Understand how you can take responsibility for your life because this is so important for the other two steps. So the second tip I want to share is to do shadow work. I kind of define shadow work as doing a lot of internal subconscious work on your inner fears, on past trauma, on what you are subconsciously doing and what your subconscious thoughts are and what you're still holding on to from the past that you might not be aware of, that you might not know of. So doing shadow work is to release these feelings, these emotions, this, this trauma, this, all these things. And number one, first off, I'm not a therapist, but you should definitely, you know, go to therapy if you haven't ever gone to therapy, if you feel like this is something that is beneficial for you to do, because therapy has really taught me personally on how everything is related to how we were raised and how we grew up and our parents and everything stems from something. Everything that is triggering you right now has stemmed from the past. So it's really understanding that and understanding what your deepest fears are and where those are coming from, understanding what is holding you back. So if you're, for example, like not making much money or you're not keeping enough money, it's really understanding, okay, where is that coming from? Like, are you afraid of making a lot of money to lose it? So really understanding your money mindset in this way. So writing this down and where does that fear of receiving coming from? Like, did something happen when you were growing up where you were afraid to receive money? Did something happen growing up where you were afraid of, you thought money was bad because, but it's not money is money is energy money is a neutral thing right so what were you taught when you were growing up and how how do you have to change this right so doing shadow work you can also do journaling for this just journal things out really think of deep deep questions if you check my instagram i have a lot of different reflection questions you can do i'm gonna probably write more of those t soon too so check those out and I also do a lot of releasing healing rituals in the moon sign creative community so you can check that out on my patreon community down below if you want to join in and just do monthly events and rituals with that but I do feel like understanding where your past is coming from understanding what what is happening to you presently and what it, what is the emotions that are attached to it, right? Because if you're living in the present moment, then usually you're at peace, unless it's like, unless there's external circumstances happening. But like, if, if you're feeling triggered at all, where is that coming from, from the past? So learning about that, learning a lot about your past and learning about who you are as a person has really, really helped me. So shadow work, highly, highly recommend. Becoming self-aware, I highly recommend. So yes, I definitely recommend those. And um, if you want me to do a whole video on shadow work, let me know and I'll, I'll do that. But I hope that gives a good general suggestion of what shadow work is. The third tip is to rewrite your narrative. Okay, so this is, this is fun. This is the fun one. This is like, this is manifestation. This is understanding how to live the life you want to live, right? So for example, like maybe it's understanding what have you told yourself repeatedly that you couldn't do, which wasn't true. How can you reframe things and rewrite things so that you know you can do it and you can, you can live how you want to live. Like for example, like Maybe you were always afraid of writing a book. Maybe you were always afraid of becoming an author because you were told that there's no money for that. And this is not true. And what, how can you reframe this? How can you 
kind of tell yourself this every single day and rewrite this narrative so that you can create that book you always wanted to publish. Uh, I've, I've also pu published a poetry book if you want to check that out. The link is down below for that. But I think it's really understanding what have you always told yourself. Maybe you felt like you were never good enough. You were never confident enough. Maybe you were always telling you yourself these things and those aren't true, right? Those aren't facts. Maybe that was just something that someone told you as a kid. And it's about understanding like, since you have control over your life, since you've taken responsibility for your life, there are certain things you can control and it's to rewrite that narrative for yourself. So you can do this through journaling, through affirmations. I never used to believe, I just want to go off, like I never used to believe that affirmations would help me so much because I remember like just feeling like, okay, how can repeating certain phrases help me? I don't understand that. But the more I did them when I, as soon as I woke up and went to bed, the more I was able to tell myself, you know, I am abundant, I am free, I am safe, I am, money flows to me easily. The more I was able to tell myself these things, the more I was able to feel at peace and, and kind of see them as truth, right? So you kind of have to, to make it a habit to rewrite this narrative. You have to make all of these things habits so that you can rewrite this narrative and change your entire life because that's going to be transformative. It's about knowing what you can do every single day to, to kind of release any painful emotions, but also to feel the best you can daily. My bonus tip is to create a daily routine. And this is how you tie all of these three together. This daily routine is the thing that will set you free because this is the practical thing you can do. Is like, how can you do all these things every single day so that you can change your life? And that might sound daunting, right? You're like, I can't do all these things in one day. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. So it's about setting yourself up for success every single day. So maybe that's meditation to calm, to, to be at peace. Maybe it's journaling so that you can release any heavy emotions you have and then rewrite your narrative of like, I feel sad today because of this memory, but I'm going to feel happy today. I'm going to feel great today. I'm actually going to, I feel so grateful for all these things. I also want to say gratitude has helped me so, 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 so much in terms of my narrative of, of feeling grateful for what I have. And it's important to note that like having daily gratitude can, can really help you energetically be in the vibration you need to be, but also understanding like it's okay if you want your circumstances to change it's okay to want that it's okay to have wants but it's also understanding that you can still be grateful for what you have and want things to change at the same time right like you can have both you can still have you can still work with both so yeah this these are some things that have really really helped me transform my life so for daily habits i really recommend Atomic Habits by James Clear and that book has completely changed how I do habits and one of the tips I want to share is like for example I never thought I would work out every day and become healthier I needed it to be something that was easy for me to do to make a new habit for yourself I never thought I was a fit person until I told myself no you can be a fit person, you are a fit person, you're a healthy person. So once I started to tell myself this, what do healthy people, fit people do? They work out every day. They, they make healthy choices. So once I started to work out every single day and made it a part of my routine, I then started to make, trick my body into wanting to work out, actually wanting to do these things. I never used, I used to hate working out. I thought it was so draining, but then I realized how much it helped my mental health, 
if I worked out. So what I would do is to just work out for 10, 15 minutes a day. Like even if I didn't feel like working out, I would do 10 to 15 minutes and sometimes it would be half an hour. And as long as it's something doable for you that you can do every single day, that's what you do. Do not start with like an hour of working out if you hate working out. Like start small, small with, with small steps. Start with small steps and you're gonna feel so much better. I really hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in a birth chart reading, I offer those, so you can check the link down below. And if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm also a brand strategist, you can check that out down below as well. And if you just wanna join a welcoming, supportive, friendly community to make more friends, to be more introspective, to learn more about yourself, you can check out my Patreon page down below as well. And happy, happy new year if you're watching this during the new year. If you're not, then I hope this video helps you this year, next year, the year after that for the rest of your life. Let me know what was your favorite tip. And I just wanna say the universe has your back and with peace and love, take care. Thank you.